I'm going to be doing a tutorial today about adding Postmark as your email uh, service provider for your Laravel application. So uh, let us, without wasting much time, let's just, just dive in. So first of all, what we are going to do is we will create an account on Postmark. Just go to Postmark, um, go to postmark.com. So create an account is very easy and it's free. So, but I have created an account and, and I'm not going to waste much time on that. I'm just going to log in to my account now. So, um, so now I'm inside my account. You can create a server if you want, but it's not compulsory. You can just use the one that uh, you meet. The, this one is going to be given to you by Postmark, but I think it's cool if you create a server yourself. And once you just click on that, now the only thing is it will ask you for the name uh, of the server. It can just be anything. So if it's nothing, then you can choose any color you want. But I'm not creating in a new server since I have one already. So um, now click when, when you create the server, it will appear here. Now click on the server. So the reason we, we are clicking on the server is we need the uh the access key all right so um this tutorial is not really about how to use all the features of postmark we just want our access key now there are two ways of sending emails in postmark you can either you send emails through the api method or smtp but this uh tutorial is about sending email using smtp method of postmark so but we still need the api token now you click on the api token now these are your api tokens please don't use my token anyway i can always generate and now so you can generate another token now copy this one copy this token so uh, when you copy this token oh sorry before you copy this token just know that we need this token now let's now go to our live package because we need to install the postmark mailer package so copy this now go to your um your panel now cd into your project cd into the root uh, uh project which is in my own case it is my project so so now just copy and not click enter i i don't want to do that now because i already have it installed so next thing let's go back to our documentation so let's confirm if we have this in our mail sorry in our service.php now if you are using laravel now nine it is it is very 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 likely that you will have all these settings there but you still need to confirm so let us go to uh service.php in our config folder so look up for service to, now you can see we have it there already so we don't need to add it but if you are using a a, a previous version of a laravel you may want to add this thing here okay all right so um now there is one thing i want us to note here so let us go to mail.php uh let's go to mail.php now if we are using the smtp method we don't need to change the default mailer settings just leave it the way it is in mail.php but if you want to use the api token method then you will need to set your uh, email defaults to postmark okay but we are not using that it is absolutely want to use so we are not going to change this so we are just going to leave it as smtp because in the documentation it is kind of confusing okay all right, so let's now go to our environment file and enter our details. So now please pay attention here. Now, since we are using SMTP, this is not changing. Now, this is going to change. We are going to put it as postmark, postmark.com. Uh, let me see whether I, this thing is right. Postmark, oh, sorry, postmark app. Postmark, postmark app. So smtp.postmark app. 
Alright, so now the port we can leave it this way, but I prefer to use 587. Okay, now the username and password is going to be this thing here. This um, access key or the token or whatever it is called, it's going to be your username and also your password. You have already entered it here, okay? So it's your user, username and your password. You leave this as TLS and you know, this can be your, you know, your own personal something. So now we'll, you will click on save. Then when you click on click on save, ensure that you do this. Um, sorry, let me see. Let's go full into my projects. Projects. Sorry. It's proper. Uh, so what am I doing? Yeah, my projects with oh, sorry. Uh. Oh, oh, sorry. I'm already in my project. Sorry. All right. So I, I want to see the into. Uh, my label this thing all right so okay now ensure when you save in your uh, at sound file ensure that you do php you clear the cache php artisan so that it can uh, pick the new settings ensure you do that and also config all right so um that is it on how to use postmark to send um email and now to use postmark to send email from your laravel application so if you have any answer any questions uh just leave it in the comment section and i will do my best to answer thank you